Hello everybody, Greg Lusser here for Online Tennis Instruction. Today I'm excited to introduce you to our tennis fitness expert, Jody Johnson. He's going to show you some exercises you can do to help you to get into that key serve position, what we call the racket drop. But I've known Jody for over 10 years now. He's worked with my students, helping them get stronger, fitter, faster around the court, but also being uh, injury resilient. And Jody, we're very happy to have you, so thank you for joining us. Excited to be here with OTI. Um, yes, many years training it athletes uh, with a lot of passion for helping athletes get better over 20 years. i um, worked with many university and, and academies for tennis. I've also worked with athletes in almost every other sport you can think of. The levels of athletes I've worked with have been from amateur to pro and just have a strong passion to increase performance, reduce the risk of injury, and help you get to a, a more uh, help you just enjoy your sport more. Um, also, I'm actually now with the current head strength coach for an entire athletic department at a local university here and work with uh, the men's and women's tennis team as well. And Jody is also an avid tennis player himself. He's actually an OTI subscriber. So he understands our method methodology and how to apply his training methods to help our students get the most out of their games. Before Jody shows you the exercises to help you get into the racket drop, let's quickly go over uh, the racket drop position. Now, in order to get there safely and more, more efficiently, you want to first have a good right to left. That's where you bend, by, um, isolate bending from the elbow where the racket moves slightly over your head where the strings are angled slightly downwards and moves to the left and then gets into this position here where the racket tip points all the way down and is aligned with the right side of your body. When you get in that position, it places the muscles in the front part of your shoulder and chest on stretch, so you have the stored energy which you can release up to contact, helping you generate more serve power. The three exercises to help get into the racket drop position that Greg was just uh, educating you a little bit more about um, are very effective in one, increasing that range of motion. That range of motion will help you prevent injury. It will also help you perform that, that movement much more efficiently, faster, and obviously even get into that correct position that Greg was uh, identifying for you. The first exercise is thoracic extension. Um, this is done without any resistance or any different props. You're basically going to work your body um, the muscles opposite the body part you're trying to stretch. So we're stretching the front side of the body and we're using our back muscles to pull our, pull our arms up and back and stretch our thoracic part of our, of our spine. Um, and we're extending that spine and we're going to hold for a three count and then relax. And then push it again into a three count, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, and relax. You can do that up to five times. That'll, incre that'll improve that motion which when Greg drops the racket you can see you start to make that motion and that makes it more easier to get into that position. The second exercise is giving some mobility more to your, your shoulder, um, your back, and, your, and out of your tricep. And it's one that you probably have seen. Um, in this exercise, we're going to drop our hands far down back behind our shoulder. We're going to, behind our back, we're going to pull our elbow behind our head and easily pull it and try to reach a little farther down our back at the same time. Again, this active isolated protocol I just showed you is similar here. You can pull for a three count, then let it relax a little bit for about a two count, and then bring it back in for a three count and perform that up to five repetitions. Um, the third exercise, which these together will create a very synergistic effect, is to help open up that shoulder. Um, a little bit more. It's going to help our, our chest muscles, our front anterior delt, the front of our shoulder muscles, and also our rotator cuff muscles inside and underneath our big muscles. We're going to extend the arm up and we're going to pull. Now these are smaller muscles so we don't want to pull on it too hard. I've got an apparatus or I have a band tied to a, a post behind me and then we're going to kind of step into it, get a light stretch, one, two, three, then totally let it relax and one, two, three and let it relax. Um, that's an effective tool. I can show it a little bit more from the side so you can kind of see the angle I'm getting, one, two, three, and I can feel a pretty good stretch there. Um, again, it doesn't have to be too hard. Big component about the mobility is more time spent doing it will create the effect. Um, don't try to overdo it because over time you will get a great benefit out of it and make getting into that position, the racket drop that Greg was showing you will get better and better and I'm sure your performance will just go up big time. So give those three exercises a try to help you to get into a better racket drop, to help you improve your overall serve and serve power. In the next few days, look out in your inbox for another email. We will show you how to move into the corner and recover much faster. We're going to also show you exercises to help increase your strength but also your flexibility so you can move into the corner and out of the corner much quicker.